It's a weekly ritual for many seniors, like Susan. We are trying to get by on the best means of what we have to work with. Good morning. Lining up for a bag of groceries, just enough to get by. Thank you. You're welcome. The uh, cost of food went up it really drastically. Like, I just can't afford it on my income. Now this free seniors food market just a few years old. And we started, it wasn't uncommon to have 12 or 16 people show up. Now it's fairly routine. We'll do a couple of these a week and we'll have like over 200 people show up. Same story at this Toronto food bank. Demand here and across the country soaring, up nearly a third in just a year. That according to a new report from Food Banks Canada that shows the highest demand since data collection began in 1989. People aren't making enough money um, to stretch their dollars throughout the month. And then with costs increasing as they have been, far too many people are just unable to make ends meet. Calls for more government support for those struggling to pay their bills growing. Stop gap solutions springing up in the meantime. Oh, thank you. Like this community fridge and pantry in Calgary. We really wanted to meet that in-between need where just, again, people didn't have to apply for anything, they didn't have to register, just show up, be a part of the community and take what you need or leave what you have. For now, those Canadians in need of the basics have some basic goals. I would hope that uh, everything could get better, food-wise, rent-wise, you know, like give people a chance. For you. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. you. Until then, those most in need will continue to rely on the kindness of others. Okay. See you again. Yeah. Take care of yourself. I always do. Aaron Collins, CBC News, Calgary.